Religions like Christianity say that hell is a place you go to when you die. But what if you are already in hell? What if you're in hell right now? I mean, let's face it, this world is an awful place, a terrible place, and 2020 has revealed this to be true more than ever. So what I'm going to show you is that this place, this world that you live in right now is in fact hell. Not only that, but I'm going to show you that this video is a message from God showing you how to escape from hell. The Bible tells you that when you die, you go to hell. But the ancient Gnostics knew that that was a lie. They were a group of radicals, of heretics, who thought that the God of the Bible was actually the devil, and that the world, his creation, was hell. That it was a place that he would trap souls into to power his infernal creation. And death did not offer a release, because as soon as an individual would die, their soul would become trapped once again in this world of matter, caught in a cycle of reincarnation. They thought that the only way that they could escape this material hell was through gnosis. Gnosis means knowledge. By the way, did you know that almost every secret society is based on Gnosticism? Now stay with me here because at the end of this video I'm going to show you how to escape and show you that this is in fact a message from God. You have to know that you're in a prison before you can escape the prison. A slave must realize that he is in fact a slave before he can become free. And the information that I'm about to give you will give you the knowledge that you need to escape. Now the Gnostics were on to something, but we know that this reality is a reality of constant change, constant motion and evolution. It's not a linear existence, but rather an existence of cycles. To get a better understanding of this, let's hear from someone who claimed to be a god. The ancient Greek philosopher Empedocles claimed to be the incarnation of a supernatural entity, and he died by climbing to the top of a volcano and throwing himself into it, claiming to be a god. Though his body may perish, he claimed that his soul would continue on as a divine entity. Now, he was highly intelligent and developed what might be considered the precursor to atomic theory. He believed that everything in physical reality was composed of the four elements, and that these four elements were governed by two forces, the forces of unity and separation, or alternatively, the forces of love and hate. Now what does this have to do with hell? Well, the true definition of hell is not a place of fire and brimstone, but rather a place of separation from perfection. And Empedocles believed that reality would go from a state of perfect unity or perfect love to a state of absolute separation or total hatred. So this is a picture of a cyclical reality, a reality of cycles that goes from unity to separation to a return to unity to once again of separation. According to Hinduism, reality goes through phases or eons or ages known as yugas. And there are four yugas. The first yuga is the age of truth and perfection. And all the subsequent yugas are degradations. It gets worse and worse. The worst of these yugas is known as Kali Yuga, and it is the age of darkness and ignorance. And according to Hinduism, what age do you think we exist in right now? That's right, Kali Yuga, the age of darkness and ignorance, hell. According to Hinduism, this hellish age of darkness and ignorance is focused on the external rather than the internal. It is a focus on consumerism and materialism, personal self-interest and the acquisition of money and dominance over others instead of the acquisition of knowledge and understanding and creating a healthy, compassionate world. These are all very interesting interpretations, but for you to understand how to escape from hell, you have to realize exactly how this existence works and where you are right now. You see, this is not a material reality, and you are not your body. Your body is simply an avatar. What you truly are is an eternal mind. So what is this existence? This existence is a shared dream that we all exist in together, 
And the moment of the Big Bang was the moment that we began to collectively dream this dream. But it was also the moment of absolute separation. There was a point of total perfection and unity, of perfect mind. And the Big Bang was the moment of ultimate separation. The Big Bang was the beginning of separation, the birth of hell. Reality goes through a process of involution followed by evolution. And as organisms begin to evolve, we as minds are able to link to these organisms and enter and interact in this shared dream world. And now, as we become human and become self-aware and conscious of ourselves within this shared dream, we have woken up in this existence of separation, this hellish existence. But as we grow and evolve and work together to build a better world, to build better societies, to build a better culture, we increase the unity in the world. In other words, we begin to evolve away from hell and towards heaven. In other words, hell and heaven aren't places that you go to when you die. Heaven and hell are here. We are currently in hell, but we have the power to transform this world into heaven. You see, there is no heaven and hell. There is no God and the devil. We are the gods and the devils. We are the creators and the destroyers. We began this shared dream and it is up to us to transform it from hell into heaven. When you die, you won't go to hell and you won't go to heaven. You'll simply be returned back to this shared dream into another avatar, another body, which is why we must transform this shared dream from a hell into heaven. There is no God in the sky. There is no devil in hell. We are God. I am God. You are God. We created this place. This is our shared dream and we are the transformers of this existence. So it's not correct to say that we must escape from hell, but rather we must transform hell into heaven. Our will be done. We will create the kingdom of God on earth because it is our kingdom. There are angels and demons all around you, but it's up to you to know what you are, to realize that you, that we are fallen angels, and that once again, we will recover our wings. All true and benevolent secret societies are focused on bringing humanity towards that final point of unification, what French philosopher Pierre Teilhard de Chardin called the Omega Point. The Omega Point is the ultimate point at the end of time where all things are once again returned to ultimate perfection, ultimate unity, ultimate harmony. This is a realm of perfect mind where the material world no longer exists because the material world is always a world of separation. If I exist in my body and you exist in yours, there will always be a separation. The Omega Point is a point of pure, perfect mind, unity, harmony, perfection. So don't fall for the lie of mainstream religions that say that heaven and hell are a place that you'll go to when you die. Instead, focus not on the afterlife, but this life, because the afterlife will simply be here once again, and you will be caught in a net and a cycle of incarnation. So it is up to us to transform this world from hell into heaven. That is our divine purpose, our divine mission as divine beings. Mainstream religion tries to deny your divinity, but the truth is that you are divine. God and the devil are you, and heaven and hell are here. It's up to manifest one or the other. And there are devils all around us trying to create this world into a world of separation, of fracture, of consumerism, capitalism, and materialism. 
However, we are the gods and the goddesses, the angels, the beings that will transform this world into one of unity, of perfection, of harmony, one that works towards understanding our world, expressing each other, and exploring this dream that we share together. This world is hell because of people who do nothing to change it. So stop making excuses and help us change it now. We are the unstoppable force of heaven on earth, and we wield the fiery flames of knowledge and reason. Ignorance will be put to death and truth will finally be born. So join us, my fellow gods and goddesses, my fellow fallen angels, as we create a new world. We are here to wake up the world, so join our War of the Mind by subscribing right now. Also watch my very important videos called Is God Actually the Devil? and Are You Dreaming right now? If you enjoy my work, consider supporting on Patreon so I can continue to create. My name is Morg, and I am Hyperion. Ad Astra to the stars.